Hello, everyone. Welcome to our fifth, sixth Tuesday talk. It's hard to keep track. Um, numbers get difficult as the semester continues, but so excited to be chatting today with Rachel from Renew CS, an initiative um, that really seeks to make the CSE program more accessible to students and provide some support, um, especially in those introductory courses alongside some other support resources that are offered. Um, my name is Grace Strain. You're probably tired of hearing my name by now. I'm one of the staff academic advisors in the CSE UAO and I'm hosting our Tuesday talk series. But I wanna pass things over to Rachel to introduce herself and talk a little bit about the work that she does in Renew CS. Hi everyone, I'm Rachel. I'm the program coordinator for Renew CS. Um, Renew CS is a grant funded project initiative here at CSE and it stands for recruitment and retention of women in computer science. Um, so as the program coordinator, I manage the six initiatives that are part of Renew CS and assist the Renew CS team of professors with their initiatives, as well as lead the data gathering and analysis initiative. So Renew CS is funded by the Center for Inclusive Computing, CIC, out of Northeastern University. CIC funds maybe 20 to 30 implementation grants and um, that makes CSC part of a really inspiring community of professors across the country piloting initiatives like we are to support diversity, equity and inclusion in their computer science programs. Awesome, we're really excited to get into some of the meat of Renew CS and hear about the various pieces that are happening, but always good to hear kind of how things start um, and where they come from, what the initiative and the drive is for something like Renew CS. So I know a major component of Renew CS is assisting students with the transition into computer science, which we know can be really rigorous here at the University of Michigan. So I wanna ask first about the course EECS 110 Discover CS and how that might be helping bridge the gap for students who are new to the discipline. Absolutely, yeah. So Discover CS is a two credit course geared towards students without any prior coding experience, um, particularly women, um, non-binary and BIPOC students. Um, all students are welcome, but it is geared towards um, those students. While the first required course, um, the first computer science course, EECS 183, um, is open to students without previous instruction, we developed Discover CS as a lower stakes introduction to the many applications of computer science for students who may be interested in having a little bit of a, of a bridge, if you will. So, um, the course provides helpful experience if you're an undeclared student, if you're looking for a minor, or if you're considering a change of major. Throughout the semester, uh, students learn core computer science concepts, including coding. They get hands-on experience in several different computer science areas, as well as meet with researchers and computing professionals to hear about their experiences, their career trajectories, um, as well as explore interdisciplinary applications of computer science. Um, we find that a lot of students who are maybe interested in computer science, but not quite sure what their options are, um, are really drawn from a whole lot of different um, disciplines and computer science can give them a little bit of like an aspect of um, expertise that can really help propel their careers forward um, regardless of if they want to be computer science majors or if they just want to have that kind of expertise in their back pocket. I think that computer science is like one of those things that's increasingly important, regardless of discipline, having at least some background and understanding coding um, and the various pieces that go into computer science, I think just helps folks um, in, a, in a broader way in a variety of fields. But I also do appreciate there are a lot of students who come in and who've never even considered CS and they take one course, historically it's been maybe 183 and say, oh my goodness, I didn't know this was an option. This is great. Um, so I think 110 you know, helps do that even more and do it, like you said, in a more low stakes way um, to get students interested in thinking about possibilities. So I really love that. Um, I am curious though about the support that is available through Renew CS for two of our intro courses, specifically EECS 183 as previously mentioned, in EECS 203. Could you share a little bit about 
the changes that might be in the works for those courses to support students? Yes, absolutely. So overall, Renew CS um, is really hoping to make changes to better synchronize our computer science intro sequence. So that would be, you know, possibly discover CS into EECS 183 into our 200 level courses, which, you know, would be 203, 280, and 281. Um, so we want to provide better support for our students to progress successfully through that sequence. Um, for example, in EECS 203, we are piloting discussion sections that are partially modeled after um, the CSP sections that you might find in EECS 183. Um, and these sections are called Focus on Fundamentals in 203. And these Focus on Fundamentals discussion sections have two IAs teaching 20 students rather than two IAs teaching 40 students, which is the regular load. Um, so these students who take focus on fundamentals can have you know, more one-on-one -on -one interactions with the IAs, are able to ask more detailed questions and get more um, detailed and hands-on responses. Um, additionally, we hope to provide more structure and a more like um, comfortable community through these focus on fundamental sections, having smaller, um, Having smaller classes means that students can interact with each other more, more easily as well. Um, as well as these discussion sections are um, required, their attendance is required. So um, this was kind of came out of a lot of conversations we've had with students, um, different professors and, and myself included. I think the, the number one thing I hear most often from students is that cultivating community is simultaneously really difficult at CSE and also like one of the most important or most helpful things, um, which may sound counterintuitive if you're thinking, you know, community doesn't really help with, you know, keeping a student's grades up, like not directly, but I think indirectly, that's a, it's a huge thing for all of us. We wanna feel, you know, connected um, and we're hoping that these kinds of discussion sessions can help with that. Um, so that's in EECS 203. And in EECS 183, we're piloting um, similar discussion sections that could be for students who aren't officially part of the CSP um, program, but still want that kind of like community aspect, as well as there are some other just, you know, restructuring how the courses are taught, um, how the professors are um, aware of different kinds of student groups in their classes that may need different kinds of, you know, learning um, help. And those kinds of things are, we're kind of implementing semester by semester. So we're hoping that maybe in the fall of 2023, we can have a really, um, a much bigger presentation of those changes to, to CSE. Well, that, that focus on the fundamentals I was just going to say focus, and then I realized I need to finish the phrase here. We're using this language now. But that, that focus on, you know, smaller class size and those, those discussion sections, making them a mandatory attendance. So it's really a, a hands-on experience for students. I love that because I think, you know, when you get that interaction with an IA or with an instructor, and you know, you're able to ask, like you said, those questions, I think it can really go such a way towards understanding but I really want to hone in on that community piece because I do think that is simultaneously, like you said, so important and so difficult within CSC. You know, we are such a large major. We have so many students, you know, such full classes. There is, of course, that aspect of competition within just the field of CS at large, even outside of our university. But I always talk to students who say, you know, they found their people in CSC and that was so important for their success, you know, not just in the classroom, having folks to help with debugging code or, you know, to study with, but also just you know, having those networking opportunities and those social engagements. So I'm curious, you know, outside of the, the strictly core support resources that you have in Renew CS, what other programs or initiatives are there to help students acclimate to CS and maybe experience a culture within CSE that is positive for them? Yeah, thank you. That's a great question. Um, Renew CS, has launched a student-led peer mentorship program. Um, it piloted in fall 2021, and it's been every semester since. Um, so this mentorship program helps 
um, primarily underrepresented genders succeed in the introductory computer science courses. So that includes EECS 183 and EECS 203 like before, um, but also EECS 280. So students can sign up to attend weekly help sessions. Um, there are both in-person and remote help session options. And these help sessions are run by near peer undergraduate students. So that's, you know, students who have taken these courses before um, and have done, have gone through training to be mentors and um, really care about, you know, kind of helping students after them um, progress through these courses. So um, this program also offers monthly kind of special topic sessions where mentees from all the different you know, groups or help sessions can come together and discuss topics like resume building or interviewing skills or, um, you know, some of the more difficult computer science skills like debugging. And um, these mentorship program um, also offers startup tech company tours and visits every semester. So um, I think last semester they visited Honda and they're in the works of getting everything ready for the semester as well. Um, so that's just another option for, you know, students um, looking for community and support um, and maybe an extra, an extra leg up and help in some of those um, more difficult skills and, and computer science topics. I'm very excited about all the mentorship opportunities that I think are, are really recent within CSC. I know we have obviously through a new CS, and I think also through kind of some of the DEI initiatives within the department as well, some mentorship opportunities. Um, but I think that is important, just not for creating community, but also it mirrors, I think, what students are going to experience in the workforce, right? You know, they're working under people who've maybe been in a company longer, they're going to do some learning on the job. I think it models that for students. So I'm very excited um, for all these mentorship opportunities that are available. So we're coming kind of to the end of our time here. Um, for our chat. So I just want to ask if there's maybe anything else you can give us a peek at behind the scenes with Renew CS, anything that's kind of coming on the horizon, um, or how students who want to learn more about the initiative can reach out um, to get more information. Yes. So um, yeah, there's always a lot happening behind the scenes with Renew CS. Um, I would say if students who are taking any of these intro courses currently um, are interested in, in learning more about it, they can reach out to the professors who are teaching their classes. Um, they are doing a lot of work behind the scenes to help these intro courses, you know, really um, find their greatest potential and, and really care about the students in those courses. Um, as well as you are welcome to sign up for the mentorship program. Um, there are, I think, 12 different mentors this semester who are eager to help students in those courses um, succeed, as well as um, if you have either questions or concerns or just want to talk about how you can be a part of Renew CS, you're welcome to reach out to me personally. Um, I'm, on, I'm on campus every week and I'd be happy to talk to students um, about anything that they have on their minds regarding the Renew CS project. Um, so yeah. Thank you so much for having me, Gray. Of course, thanks for being here. And we'll share out information on how to apply for the mentorship program. I think we actually might've shared out previously, but we'll of course share out again. And I'll also um, give students your email address in case they do wanna reach out and have any questions, but appreciate you being here and glad to talk about Renew CS. Looking forward to all the great things that are to come. Yes, thank you so much. We are very excited as well. All right, well, we don't have a new Tuesday talk scheduled just yet for the future. Um, we're pre-recording this, so maybe, you know, future Gray will have updates, um, but stay tuned to our Instagram for more conversations with student services offices and perhaps some other folks on campus. Thanks so much, Rachel, for your time and have a great rest of your day.